So the place I've come to this afternoon for a little bit of photography is probably the one place I've been most looking forward to sharing with you. It is a truly stunning, stunning location. It is just magnificent. It defies words. And uh, because I have no words to fully describe it, I think I'll just flip the camera around so you can have a look for yourselves at what an amazing location this really is. This is the mountain of Timfis with the Vikos Gorge below. And the Voidamatis River that runs through it, through the canyon, is just truly spectacular. There's Papigo village up there as well. It's like Yosemite, the Tetons, all of those rolled up into one. And the beauty of it is it's in Greece and so easily accessible. And despite how just how beautiful it is and how easily accessible it is, I mean the car is just parked beyond, beyond behind these bushes here. Um, I'm the only one here. There's absolutely nobody around. See, it's totally quiet and beautiful. So this is my location for this afternoon's photo session. So I'm just going to set the camera up and uh, wait for the sun to go down a little bit further before starting taking a few pictures. Explain what it is that I'm doing. I've, um, because the it's such a massive vista, it really lends itself to a panoramic shot. So what I'm doing is the area that's in full sun just behind me here. So the main mountain of Timpis, which is in in the um, sunlight that's just a pretty normal exposure so I can just get away with doing one shot for that but as as I swing round you'll see this is starts getting into shadow here uh, on the opposite side of the canyon the gorge so I'm having to bracket these these photos so I'm starting there doing just one shot one shot one shot and as I come here I get I'm doing two shots one for the highlight and one for the low light in the canyon itself and then as I swing around to the sunrise uh, the sunset the same again so it, it'll it's a little bit more involved uh, later on for me when it comes to processing the images in uh, Photoshop as I will have to layer those two photos of the um, 
that I have bracketed um, to get the shot that I will then be able to tie in for the panoramic for the rest of the shot. But we'll see how it works out. Just whilst I'm waiting for the sun to go down a little bit further, I'll make myself a bit of a cup of tea. Because it is freezing. That's uh, one more panoramic done, and um, probably two more. One just as the sun hits the top of the mountain there before it sets, and then one little while after the sun has set. So, just to get all the variations of light on the mountain. Like I said, the uh, the colour of the mountain just keeps getting better and better with the sun dropping. Okay, it's almost hit the mountain there, so I'm going to do one more set of panoramics and then wait until the sun dips over and then do another set. what that does to the light on the mountain. on that like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. There's still more coming up. I'm uh, heading uh, into a different location in Greece uh, tomorrow. So uh, that'll be for the next video. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.